Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on economic substance regulations. And today we are going to talk about headquarters business. It is one among the nine relevant activities as per economic substance regulations. So if you are new to ESR, I would suggest you to watch my previous videos on ESR where now I'm explaining the background of ESR and other relevant topics about ESR. So the link to those videos are mentioned in the description box below. So let's check out today's contents. So these are the topics that we're going to discuss today. Definition of headquarters business, requirements for ESR test, core income generating activities of headquarters business and some examples. So what is a headquarter business or when is a licensee considered as carrying on a headquarter business? So for this, let's check out the definition given by the economic substance regulation. So as per the economic substance regulation, it is mentioned that a licensee is regarded as carrying on headquarter business if the licensee provides services to foreign group companies and through the provision of such services, the licensee takes on the responsibility for the overall success of the group or the licensee is responsible for an important aspect of the overall group's performance. So this is the definition given to a headquarter business as per the economic substance regulations. So now let's understand this definition in more detail. So as per the definition, the first line is a licensee is considered as carrying on a headquarter business if they are providing services to foreign group companies. So what is a foreign group company? Group companies means those are connected people. So actually what is connected person? We need to go back to the definition of connected person in the regulation. So the definition given to connected person as per the economic substance regulation is that a natural or a juridical person who is related to one or more natural or juridical person and that Relation can be through direct or indirect ownership or control or common control. So this is the definition given for a connected person as per the regulation. So for the definition of headquarter business, it is mentioned foreign group companies. That means foreign connected person. So what is a foreign connected person? Let's go back to the definition for a foreign connected person as per the regulation. So it is mentioned that a connected person that is not a resident or deemed as resident in the state is considered as a foreign connected person. So basically, if a licensee is providing services to a foreign connected person and through that provision of those services, the licensee is taking the responsibility for the overall success of the group or the licensee is responsible for an important aspect for the overall group's performance, it is considered as carrying on a headquarter business. So I hope this definition is clear to all of you. So now let's look into the requirements for economic substance test. So in the definition we learned that a licensee is regarded as carrying on a headquarter business if they provide services to the foreign group company and through those services the licensee is taking responsibility for their overall success of the group or the licensee is responsible for an important aspect of the overall group's performance so when you talk about taking on the responsibility how can a uae business takes the responsibility for the overall success of the group or overall group performance so in order for a UAE business to be seen as having taken on the responsibility for the overall success of the group or group performance, the services provided by the entity must involve either of the following. The provision of senior management, the control of material risks for activities carried out by the foreign companies or substantive advice in relation to the assumptions or control of such risks. So if the services provided by the entity involves any of these following, it is considered that they are taking the responsibility for the overall success of the group or 
for the group's performance. And a licensee's position in the group's corporate structure is not relevant for determining whether it is engaged in a headquarters business. The licensee does not need to be a direct or ultimate parent of the group company for it to be considered as a headquarters business. So now let's look into the core income generating activities of a headquarters business. So basically there are three core income generating activities for a headquarters business. Those are taking relevant management decisions, incurring operating expenditures on behalf of the group companies and coordinating group activities. So now let's discuss each of these in detail. The first one is taking relevant management decisions. So this talks about management decisions. This refers to making decisions on the substantive functions and significant risks of the group companies, such as decisions on material acquisitions and purchases, or the group company sales and marketing strategy, product development, business process standardization, etc. And for a decisions to be seen as being made in the UAE, the majority of those making the decision should be physically present in the UAE. So this is the first core income generating activity, taking relevant management decision. The next one is incurring operating expenditures on behalf of the group companies. So uh, operating expenditures can be in the form of engaging specialist advice or procuring technology on behalf of the group company or purchasing significant assets or specific services on behalf of the group companies and so on. So this basically talks about operating expenditures on behalf of group companies. And the third one is coordinating group activities. So it is talking about group activities. There will be many activities for a company. So like marketing, HR, IT, finance, tax, etc. So coordinating group activities means ensuring that activities are coordinated and are organized in a way that produces best outcome for the group. So these are the three core income generating activities of a headquarters business and I, I hope this is clear to all of you. So now let's discuss a couple of examples so that you will get better understanding about headquarters business. So moving on to our first example, PLC LLC which is based in UAE is part of a multinational group with subsidiaries around the world. Each of the senior management team based in the UAE has responsibility for a different region and regularly spend time at the subsidiaries with the local management teams providing strategic direction and helping manage material risks. In addition, PLC LLC supports the group in managing risks through procurement of external advice centrally and the associated costs are shared among the group. So whether PLC LLC is engaged in headquarters business. So going back to our definition which we learned about headquarters business, a licensee is regarded as carrying on a headquarters business if the licensee provides services to a foreign group company and through those services, the licensee should take the responsibility for the overall success of the group or the licensee is responsible for an important aspect for the overall group structure. This is the definition given uh, to a headquarter business as per the economic substance regulation. And when you talk about taking on the responsibility, it, it can be through the provision of senior management or the control of material risks of activities carried out by the foreign group company or it can be uh, through a uh, substantive advice in relation to the assumption or the control of such risks. Either of these ways, uh, a company can take the responsibility. So in this example, PLC LLC is a multinational group and it, is a, it has got many subsidiaries around the world. So, and it is clearly mentioned that PLC LLC is providing senior management to the team and also it is helping in managing material risks and also it is providing strategic direction. So it is very clear that PLC LLC is undertaking a headquarters business. So now let's discuss another example. Hef GH LLC which is based in UAE as part of a UK headquartered group and has subsidiaries in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. While the senior management of Hef GH LLC have regular contact with the management of the KSA subsidiaries in, on the performance of their business 
and to share insights from the group. And HEF GH LLC has certain rights and influence in respect of the management and operations of the KSA subsidiaries. The KSA subsidiaries follows the strategic direction and manage risks in line with the corporate policy set out by the headquarters based in the UA, UK. So whether FGH LLC is engaged in a headquarters business. So if you see the example, FGH LLC is not taking any strategic direction for the group. The strategic direction for the group is set out by the headquarters in the UK and not by the FGH LLC and FGH LLC is not responsible for the performance of the subsidiaries in the KSA. In this case, it is clearly evident that FGH LLC is not considered as providing a headquarters business. So I hope with this example you got a better understanding about headquarters business. And with that, we have reached the end of today's session and I hope the session was useful to all of you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.